Today in class we discussed screen readers and we discussed um, ebooks and the ability to listen to ebooks audio. One of my students showed me a tool that I was unaware of that is very cool. So it's uh, an extension for a Chrome browser. So you can see on my screen I've got the Chrome browser running and um, to the right of my address bar are the extensions that I have installed. The newest one I have installed is this um, selection reader. Let me show you how it works and then I'll show you how to get it. So you would just select the text that you want to have this, the reader read. Once it's selected, you just click on the little icon in the toolbar. Using the email tools in Blackboard, tools greater than email. Compose an email to Lisa and Jen answering the three questions in the activity on page 75. Be sure to utilize proper email formatting learned in the video and use an appropriate subject line. Also, be sure to use proper spelling, punctuation, and grammar as you compose your email. This is great practice. So, if you're curious in um, how to install that extension, I will go here to the Chrome store. Um, if you don't have the Chrome, or if you don't know how to get to the Chrome store, you can just click on Apps and go to the Web Store. And then my extensions is highlighted because that's what I've recently searched for. And you can search for Selection Reader. And the simple looking icon is the text or is the item that you should choose and you can see I've already got it installed but if you hadn't um, for example the next one you would just click add to Chrome and then it would be a new icon here in your extensions now the beauty of this is if you log in to Chrome where you work on the computer then you have access to the extensions you have installed while we're at it another very cool tool is Grammarly. Grammarly is an extension that I recommend that you do load. This one I haven't loaded yet so I'm going to do that for you. So I'm going to add to Chrome, add the extension. You see now I have the new extension up here. Now what this does is it allows you to check your spelling in web pages. So a very cool tool when you're filling out information on your courses.